Hi, my name is Randy Brown, and uh, I'm here with the first in a series of videos called the Memory Series. And uh, today we're going to be learning the basic building blocks of perfecting your memory. Uh, I'm going to go over the link system, uh, the substitute word system, uh, the peg system, the loci system, or also known as the memory the memory palace. And uh, if you want to send in a question like how do I memorize this list of things, you just send me a message and I will uh, do my best to help you memorize it. Okay? So now the first thing you need to know is there is no knowledge without memory. You know, I mean, if you're learning something, like if you can't memorize it, if you can't like retain it in your memory, it's like no good. I mean, it's, it's, it's like you might as well as just not, like, learned it at all. So, uh, first up is the link system. Now, the way your mind works is it associates one picture with another. Like, have you ever been going through your house and, you know, doing something and you're, like, looking, shuffling through papers and then you got a thing that said, oh, that reminds me. You know, like, say, for example, you know, you're shuffling through papers and you come across a shoe ad, and then you go, oh, I left my shoes, I left my sneakers at the gym. I need to go back and get my sneakers. Your, that picture of the shoe made you think of your shoes. And all the link system is, is association. Now, I'm going to teach you ten very important words. Uh... I'm just going to do it as a demonstration of the link system. And then later on, as we get into the peg system and the loci system, I'll show you how uh, each one of these uh, comes into play. But for right now, your words are Thai, Noah, Ma, Rai, La, uh, Shoe, Cow, Ivy, Bee, and Toes. All right? Now, you can remember this. Now, if you're Christian, just think, you know, one of the things that blocks people the, um, from, like, memorizing things is they say, oh, I have a bad memory, or, oh, I can never remember that. If you're Christian, remember Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. And also, if you're just an average ordinary Joe, you know, I mean, if I can learn it, you can learn it. I mean, I'm a pretty spacey guy, okay? So, we'll go over them. We'll go over them again. Tai, Noah, Ma, Rai, La, Shu, Cow, Ivy, Bee, Toes. Now, okay, you need to associate these to one another. And the association needs to be crazy or outlandish or vulgar or violent. Because if, if you're, like, linking these together in some way that's, like, you know, normal you're not going to remember it because we don't remember normal things. You know, like when you're driving down the street, I mean, I bet you can't tell me how many stoplights you passed. I bet you can't tell me how many red cars there were. You know, because it's an everyday thing. It doesn't make an impression on your mind. So to make these things, when you connect them together, it's got to be something ludicrous. It's got to be... It could be violent. I mean, if, if you, you know, you're not doing violence, you know, in actuality. You're just thinking of something. Minor. Or it could be lewd. You know, you could think of, you know, naked woman or something, whatever. So, here we go. Now, I already have these linked in my mind. And, uh, but I'm going to teach you. I'm going to go through it as if I just was going over it for the first time. So, tie. That's the first object. Now, if you want something to remind you of tie, and it's tie like a necktie, or you can think tie like a bow tie, uh, you just might want to, like, associate it to your hand, or something that's always on you, like your watch. So, okay, when I see my hand, I picture a, bow, a tie wrapped around it. All right, and the next word in the series is Noah. Now, uh... So, just picture a tie hanging Noah from Noah's Ark, okay? And now we associate Noah to the next word in the series, which is ma. So, imagine Noah 
uh, falling on your ma, you know, or, you know, imagine Noah, like, you know, uh, carrying your mom and throwing her, all right? It's ma, M-A. This is very important later on. You'll see why when we get into the peg system, okay? And then next up is uh, rye, like a piece of rye bread. So imagine your mom puking up rye bread. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it could be it could be gross, it could be vulgar. It has to be something remarkable. It has to be something ludicrous or ridiculous so that it'll stick in your mind. Okay, okay. Now we associate rye to law. So imagine like a law officer, you know, scooping up the uh, scooping up the puke and putting it in his police car, and that symbolizes law. And then the next thing in the in the series is shoe. So imagine the law officer like pulling over a giant shoe. Okay? After shoe is cow. So you picture a giant shoe ramming into a cow and the cow goes flying. And then uh and then after cow, you remember ivy. And uh, just imagine the cow chewing on some ivy, and maybe the ivy, like, wraps around its mouth and, like, chokes the cow to death. All right? So now that you have ivy, think of a bee. Think of a bee uh, with ivy leaves all over them. And, uh, okay, now that we have bee, uh, imagine a bee with, Ten toes on each leg. So imagine a bee with ten toes. Now, okay, so now you've associated these ten words and you can remember them forwards and backwards. If And you can make your own link. You don't have to use the suggestions that I use. In fact, I prefer that you make up associations of your own. That way, whatever works for you sticks in your head, you know? Because, I mean, when you link uh, law to shoe, you might be thinking of, uh, you know, like an I fought the law and the law one CD, like falling into a shoe. Make up your own visualizations. And uh, you're probably asking yourself, this is good, Randy, but uh, what happens if uh, I want to visualize something that's, an intangible, like the word the, or uh, trochlear, or uh, uh, hypoglossial. You know, those aren't things I can picture, and that's a very good question, and I will be answering that question in the next segment, which is the substitute word system. So now, just to prove that this works, we can go backwards, okay? So we had toes, and the toes were on the B. And the B had ivy all over it, okay? And the ivy was choking a cow. The cow was, uh, the cow got hit by a shoe. The shoe was pulled over by the law. Uh, the law um, picked up a bunch of rye puke. And then, uh, and who puked it up? Your ma, which is number three. And then uh, your ma... She, uh, she got kicked or hit by Noah, and uh, Noah was hanging by a tie, and the tie was wrapped around your hand. See, I went backwards, people. And this stuff really works. Now, as soon we'll be getting into the substitute word system, and that's the next video. And uh, with the substitute word system, I'll teach you how to visualize words that don't have you know, aren't, that don't pop up in your mind, like words like clear or uh, words like um, testament, stuff like that, okay? So now you have the basic link system. Now, like, say you had, like, a laundry list of stuff that you wanted to get at, your, uh, at the grocery store. Say you had a grocery store list. Well, instead of looking at the list, you can memorize it, like eggs, meat, uh, toast, like we'll just take those, like eggs, um, you 
crack an egg open, and there's meat in it, all right? And the meat, you put two slices of meat in the toaster, and you make toast. So, and then you can go backwards, too. So it's like, okay, it was toast, and then I, the, we were putting the meat in the toaster, and the eggs came... Uh, the meat came out of the cracked eggs. You see how you can use this? This is a very simplified and very abridged version of the link system. And this is basically all you need to know for this module. So this is Randy Brown, uh, the memory series, the link system.